It's time to answer your Twitter questions here on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange with Jim Cramer. Jim, first up, everybody's talking about Twitter this morning. Can you just weigh in on what really happened? Yeah, well, I mean, this is a quarter where on the surface it looked really good, but in the conference call they basically said, listen, we're, uh, I would interpret it as saying we're going to have no user growth. Uh, and that's because we uh, we have a product that people have heard of, but uh, people are baffled by and don't know how to use. And we've got to figure out how to make it so they're not baffled and, and make it so that it's easy to use. And we don't have the answers yet, which basically says, well, listen, you know, if you if you have a horizon time of, say, a quarter or two, you, you, you forget it. They're not going to deliver. Well, next question comes from Bobby, who asks what's going on with Alcoa. He says pretty good quarter, but still no bottom in sight. No, okay, well, it's a commodity play, and the commodity stocks, it really doesn't matter what they are, even though Alcoa's done a lot to move itself up the food chain. Uh, the commodity stocks go down, and there's nothing you can do, so it's being linked to aluminum, I think, unfairly. But, you know, I, I'm, I'm a realist. I'm realist. The commodity stocks are going lower. Next, can you explain Panera? Lowered guidance, but still up well, big. At the end of the at the end of the statement, they said Panera 2.0, which is the revolutionary new Paneras, are doing incredibly well. So as they roll out Panera 2.0, the numbers are going to go higher, not lower. Marty asks if White Wave is overvalued. Well, White Wave is difficult because they've got the great earnings momentum and they can be acquired. Uh, we hold on to it for ActionLearnsPlus.com because we believe over the long term that a natural and organic is the way to go. The only other real player in that is Hain, and because plant-based foods are such a powerful idea. Now, Spades here says China Mobile looks amazing on paper. What are your thoughts? I, I'm not recommending anything China. Jason is looking for your take now on Dow Chemical around 46, 47. Right. Dow Chemical is a play on oil. It shouldn't be because actually it's a play on propane. That's their natural fuel. They can switch. They built crackers. They built refineries that allow them to switch to the cheapest fuel. They're not getting any credit for that. They can't do a buyback until the Olin deal closes, so there's no natural buyer underneath. It's got a good yield. I think Livers is doing great, but I think if oil goes, doesn't go back to 55, the stock won't go back to 55. All right. Thank you so much, as always, Jim. And if you have a stock question, make sure to tweet it at Jim Cramer using hashtag CramerQ. That's Jim Cramer, and I'm Brittany Umar for The Street.